Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Foreigners forced to wait for right to vote in France Tobacco debate hotting up as council details leaked to industry Fat fueled power stations to run UK's biggest sewage works EU ban leaves buyers holding 144 million homeless carbon credits. Plus, Europe can survive without Britain, says Francois Hollande. I'm Rick Timmis, and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. The wait goes on. Foreign nationals living in France will have to hold on until at least 2014 to earn the right to vote in local elections, despite the proposal being a key election pledge of French President Francois Hollande last year. Will foreigners ever get the right to vote in France? Once again, the contentious proposal to allow foreign nationals from outside the EU the right to cast their ballot in local and regional elections appears to have been put to the bottom of the pile. Well, how can this be? Here in the UK, foreign nationals are granted many rights and the EU uses its power to enforce this. Look at our articles about Cameron's inability to stop foreign child benefit claims or health tourism. Yet across the channel, the French simply ignore the EU bureaucrats. So, who is the fool? The fool himself or the one who follows the fool and acts on his orders? The content of the European Council Working Party meetings on the EU's tobacco policy review is being leaked to the industry, said an EU source, who added that the debate is hotting up. The tobacco industry receives notes and documents from ministerial meetings on the revision of the Tobacco Products Directive and prepares lobbying materials targeting specific policymakers and the tobacco lobby has sent out the campaign letters using the information as soon as one day after they took place. Right, here is a clear piece of evidence which shows the direct and sinister connection between big corporate business and the claptocrat racketeers, sorry, I mean EU commissioners. This is wrong. How can it be that this so-called EU democracy provides inside information to industry ahead of the public? That is wrong on every level. In fact, it's more like a Soviet communist or fascist model. The ministers on these panels are meant to represent the people of their constituencies and report back to them first. This story is a brilliant example of what is wrong and corrupt about the EU federal model. Fat and oil from restaurants and build-ups in drains will soon be powering Britain's biggest sewage works, it was announced. According to plans, the grease will be fed into what will be the world's largest fat fueled power station at Beckton in East London. The plant, developed and run by 20C and financed by a consortium led by Icon Infrastructure, is set to produce 130 gigawatt hours a year of renewable electricity, enough to run 39,000 average sized homes. I spoke at the weekend about the idea of localised lower output power production using secondary burn biomass techniques and I believe that such ideas have a much more viable life cycle than the monster engineering projects such as seven estuary barriers or wind farms. I reported yesterday on the EU kleptocrats carbon credits racket. Well, today we have the numbers for you. This article takes a look at the gargantuan marketplace which is trading carbon credits. These little puppies even make the bankster's vacuous derivatives look like the real thing. Companies holding United Nations carbon offsets equivalent to 7% of the European Union's annual emissions cap risk losing their investment unless they find a buyer for the credits the bloc banned earlier this year. Power stations and factories in the EU emissions trading system still hold 144 million of the UN offsets after surrendering 552 million in the five years through 2012, EU data compiled by Bloomberg. The Emperor's new clothes springs to mind. Francois Hollande launched a three-pronged attack on Britain, saying that Europe would survive without the UK, while claiming David Cameron risked splintering the EU and that his austerity policies were failing. 
In a marathon press conference just short of three hours, the embattled socialist president promised to go on the offensive in year two of his five-year mandate, with France sinking into recession and enduring record unemployment levels. Right, gloves off. Now listen here, Monsieur Hollande, you gobby little double-talking goofball. Britain risks splintering the EU? Are you having a laugh? The euro and the ECB, coupled with the Troika IMF racket, is splintering the eurozone. Let's not talk about the lending to Greece with forced conditions that they buy dodgy French subs in return for the money. Let's not talk about appointing technocrat dictators into Spain, Italy and Greece. David Cameron's a muppet. He couldn't organise a cream tea party in a jam factory. So don't come laying the blame at our door. This whole EU joke was a French and German idea from the start. Today in our video library... From the meteoric rise in 2002, we see the celebration and elation of Europe as the attempt to build a federal United States of Europe on the back of nothing more than fiat currency paper. A global deregulated criminal financial services seizes on the opportunity and concocts the ETF derivative and credit default swaps. Vacuous trading instruments that enabled the banksters to run the numbers on national economies like playing craps in a Vegas casino. A picnic for vultures. The people awakened when they realised the Euro Bureau kleptocrats had stolen their lunch. But what next? To where do we go from here? This is the trailer for the upcoming documentary, The Euro War. Will it have the answers? I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the word section of our website. Join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+, links to the community page are below. <laughs>